We all fear this situation, whether you are taking a risky long-range flight or flying in an unknown environment. If you crash with some distance, it is hard to find your drone without any GPS data. I wanted to know if the GPS data by receiver telemetry can help me find my drone in such a case. First, we need to prepare the drone's receiver to send telemetry data back to the remote control. To enable this feature, connect your drone to Betaflight and find the receiver tab. Here you can activate the sending of telemetry data to your remote control. This may already be enabled on your receiver. Let's get into the remote settings. I am using the TBS Tango 2, but this should work for other TBS remotes as well. We need to start with the telemetry data provided by the receiver of the drone. These are called sensors. To see the sensors, press the menu button and go to page 10. There may already be some sensors listed, or the list may be empty. Either way, enable the Discover New Sensors setting to search for new telemetry. To discover new sensors, your drone's receiver must be powered up. If your list is empty or not all sensors have been discovered yet, the list of sensors will increase at the bottom of this page. If there are still no sensors available, check your settings in Betaflight again. Now we can create a custom page to display the desired telemetry data on our Tango 2. Go back to the home screen of the Tango 2, press the menu button, and then long press the page button. For the first entry, select the option NUMS. Now you can add up to eight values to be displayed on your custom page. I set up some battery data, the GPS satellites connected to the drone's GPS module, and the current GPS position to help find the drone in case of a crash. Go back to the Tango 2 home screen and long press the page button. You will now see the custom page you configured with the telemetry data. So far I can't see any valid GPS data because I'm indoors and not connected to any satellites. Let's go outside and see what Crossfire can do with telemetry data. I will check if the data persists after disarming and turning off the drone. Especially the case without power to the drone is very interesting for me to see if the data on the remote can help me to find the drone if a hard crash has happened and the battery is disconnected. But first things first, I set up everything for the flight and keep the custom page in the background because I will not be flying with the custom page open in a real scenario. As soon as I get satellites in the goggles, I check the data on the custom page on the remote. The GPS data seems to be correct. Let's exit the page and take off. I will land here and disarm the drone to check if the data is valid when the drone is disarmed. Okay, the data is still being sent and updated because the receiver and the remote are connected. Now I will go back and test what happens to the data displayed on the remote when the battery is disconnected. Landed and disarmed. I stay on the Tango 2 home screen, disconnect the battery, and wait for the telemetry lost warning. Telemetry lost. Now check the custom page. 
Okay, this looks like the GPS data from here. I checked it with a GPS app on my smartphone. The data on the custom page is blinking because the data is no longer being updated. This is perfect in my case. The data on the custom page is only reset or cleared when the remote is restarted. So it is possible to get the last received data before a crash. And it is possible to get updated data if the battery is plugged in and the receiver is still sending data after a crash. For me, this is a good backup to find my drone after a crash far away. I hope this can help someone else too.